Hello, my beautiful shining friends. It's a new week. It's a new month. And it's soon going to be a new eclipse season. So much is happening. Okay, so let's jump in. So we are September 2nd. We are just on the cusp of a new moon in Virgo. Perfect. We have just come out of Mercury retrograde. Boop, boop. <laughs> we are loving that. And further into this month, we're going to start eclipse season. So there's a whole bunch of stuff happening. Now, um, even though we have come out of Mercury retrograde, which was a lot of energy about clearing and cleansing and getting rid of the old and the unnecessary and healing and stepping out of and into and rising above. We would think that we're done with it, but not so much. We still have that. Now, because it is a new moon in Virgo, and Virgo is like this with Mercury. We want to be mindful about our thoughts, our words, and our actions to be the highest frequency and the highest vibration for ourselves and for others. Don't get tricked into going down the rabbit hole of negativity. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Don't do the martyr thing either. Oh, it never works out. It's so bummy. No, don't do it. Be strong. Be powerful. Be committed to your best self, to your goals, to your intentions, to your dreams. Stay focused on them. So on, with this new moon coming in, and it does come in on Monday today, Monday the 2nd at, what is it? It's like just about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're going to want to plan. You're going to want to write down what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and how much time you're going to do it. And you're going to contemplate all this. And you're going to get excited about it being a reality. A little bit like going on vacation. And every single time that doubt kind of comes in, right? We're not going to let the energies of the planet or anything else into fear, e turn into fear. Every time that you feel something sneaking in that is taking you off your path, you're going to straighten yourself up. You're going to open your heart. You're going to remember that you have a piece of the divine inside of you, that you are worthy, and that you are able to live your best life if you so choose it. Now, this reading this week is right on top of that. You've worked hard, and you are deserving, and the deservingness I don't know if that makes sense or if that's a word, but we're going to say it is. The deservingness is there for you to take in, to hold. So stay committed to your dreams. Stay committed. And not just affirmations, not just saying it, but feel it. Feel it in your heart. Allow your heart and your mind to participate. It's a new season. It's time for growth. It's time to expand. It's time to ascend. Nobody can do it for you. You have to choose on which side of the line you want to be. Do you want to be part of those that create their life? That feel love, that feel joy, that are a magnet for all that is good or not? Every single one of us has the power to create that. You have the power to create it. You can. Why not jump in and join the party and have fun with it? So this month, this week, and this new moon, if you don't have a plan, make a plan. Stay committed to it. Believe in yourself. Believe in love. Believe in possibilities. And have some fun. All right. If you want to go deeper, remember you can reach out to me 
If you are on my YouTube channel, make sure that you have subscribed, leave a like and a positive comment for me and for anyone else that wants to read it. It is always so empowering to know that we have this beautiful connection. And on this note, I am going to wish you a fantastic week. I'm sending you so much love right to my, from my heart to yours and so much love and light and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.